But the guy in between those two might just be the talk this entire race. I mean, Foster's the world championship silver medalist. Gonzalez, the defending champion. Uh, it, it, and he's the NCAA record holder still at NCAA championship record. But now, Marshawn, he was so quick in the prelims, the first 200, Patrick. 140 point. That was about two seconds faster than he was in his record swim. Already a quarter of a second lead for Marshawn. The first 50 goes out to 21.84. And, and this could be a case where he destroys his own record fastest in history. And somebody like Carson Foster could end up getting second, breaking the American record. We saw that earlier when Destin Lasko got the silver, got second, and broke the American record in the 200 IM. He's faster than he was this morning at the 100. 47.10 for Marshawn. And now the backstroke. If it, again, I, I said if this was a seven-day meet, he'd be the favorite probably in the 100 back, 200 back, 100 breast, 200 breast, 200 fly perhaps. He doesn't have a weakness. Remember, I told you earlier, 128 plus on the 800 free relay, by far the fastest in history. So every single stroke is special with this kid. Rowdy, he is already two seconds clear of the field <laughs> at the 150. Two seconds clear of the field and certainly on record pace. In fact, he's two seconds under. <laughs> Ace. Meanwhile, the battle for second place shaping up between Drum, Foster, and Gonzalez. But right oh! a 139.30 in the midway bar for Sean. Look out. Maybe. Oh, my goodness. This was a 44 flattish kind of look when he did it in the 200 IM. He is way ahead, over a second and a half ahead of what he went this morning. And he's three seconds ahead of his record pace. Now, Rowdy, we saw. <laughs> I know what you're getting ready to ask. 200 IM. <laughs> the freestyle was a bit sluggish for him as he set the NCAA record. Nitpicking here. How does he avoid that to really smash through the NCAA record? Well, I, I, he's, I think he's going to break the record. There's no question in my mind. Will he go 329? Yes, I think so. The only reason I don't think he might not go as fast. He's got a relay a little bit later on. He's going to win this by a country mile. Will he back off a little bit to save it for the relay? I don't think so, but he is swimming lights out right now. Wow! Look at this! 237.89 as he enters the freestyle in the final 100 yards. It is almost a half a pool of a lead for Leon Marshall. He is almost four seconds ahead of pace. You asked me before the race, could he go 328? I said, there's no way this guy's going 328. Should I he could do it. Ask me again. Uh, Rowdy, can he go 328? Uh, yes! Yes, he can. Oh, my gosh. He is so far ahead of pace now. I mean, look at this guy go. And these other two guys are having spectacular races here for second. It looks a little like Katie Ledecky. This is academic for Leon Marchand. It's going to be another iconic race. For the Frenchman for Arizona, how big will it be? The NCAA mark is 331. Will he go 328? Oh, he does! 328, 82. Drops the NCAA record like an anvil by over two and a half seconds. The crowd on their feet celebrating Leon Marchand. It looks like he can't believe the number. I think it just hit him. Unbelievable. That, you're right, Patrick. I I think his reaction said, I can't believe I went fast. He just shook his head. Did I really go that fast? Dude, you really went that fast. Oh my goodness. 47 flattish going out and looking like complete cruise control. And there's the breaststroke leg. He was unbelievable on that. 58-5 on his breast. 58-5. Oh, my goodness. And then throwing a 50-point at the end. Ah, oh, I don't know, man. It's too soon to start talking. Our seismologists around the globe. I don't know what to say. their heads now. Well, we, I just had, I just talked to a French writer 
uh, a lot of media over here from France, and he asked me about this kid. Well, he is special, no question.